Hello, Kim Townsville here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Remember, it's free to subscribe, like, comment, share, and all that good stuff. This is going to be a complete oversharing video. I'm going to show you my terribly recessed gums and the damage to my teeth that allegedly brushing has caused them, but I use a child's toothbrush. I'm very, very careful about brushing and all that good stuff. I just have, like, really terrible teeth. So this journey is going to be oversharing. If that... If pictures of teeth freak you out then go watch something else. I have very 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 receding gums and is going into my tooth and my gum line is just eroding away. Terrible. My body was made by a teenager. Terrible. My body was made by a teenager though. I'm glad of it. And I had a periodontist. Is I say that? Uh, AKA a doctor who wanted me to pay her $4,000 to do gum surgery on me and that involves taking skin from the roof of your mouth and using it to paste over your teeth's roots to form new skin and so no. This is what I normally use is Crest toothpaste and Crest mouthwash because it doesn't irritate my skin. I floss, I use a baby toothbrush and then later in this video I'll show you how I used hydrogen peroxide because someone told me it would heal my gums. I go to the dentist this week and they're gonna put fillings where my gums have recessed and my tooth is gone. It's gonna cost me $136.40 estimated. My insurance is supposed to cover the rest, which is not horrible. But I also read where this lady said that she used hydrogen peroxide and baking soda to brush her teeth and it helped her gums to uh, grow back or become healthier. So I went to Dollar General today and paid 75 cents for the baking soda and 65 cents for the hydrogen peroxide. So I'm going to try that and see, sorry my timer's going off on my suit. I'm going to try that and see before I go back to the dentist on October the 30th for this, for these, um, what are they calling them? Resin-based composites. It didn't work for me. This is a picture of what it looks like. It foams up a lot under your gums. You can see the white on there. and kind of leaves it on there, which kind of made me think, okay, that's good. It's eating away the bad stuff on the gums, any kind of disease. And then I got, okay, maybe it's eating away what's left in my gums. So who knows what it did, but it didn't make my gums grow back like some people said. Maybe I needed to use it for like half a year or a year, but I didn't. After months of using the baking soda and hydrogen peroxide, I noticed absolutely no change in my gums. It did foam up a lot and did fizzle around, but someone told me that the hydrogen peroxide actually eats away some of the skin, so then I got a little afraid and quit using it. So, but hey, you know what? I showed you, and like I said, it was too much information for some people, so, so what? Just be yourself. The ones that need to will appreciate it. The ones that don't, don't need to. Bye. Thank you for watching. Remember, <laughs> thank you for watching. Remember, it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, share the video if appropriate. Until next time, take care. Bye.